Hi Pailwan, welcome to your reading. So first we have Queen of Needles or Queen of Swords. The World. Eight of Candles or Eight of Wands. Page of Needles or Page of Swords. You will be finding your future spouse through means of communication. And your future spouse is saying that you will find this person through your social networking circle. What your future spouse would like to say to you is that They will love how objective you are when you are taking any decision or when you are judging someone. Your future spouse will be attracted to your mind. There is something about your maturity that your future spouse will be drawn towards. There's something about your independence and finding success in your life when this person will arrive in your life. This can be anything from accomplishment, from career success or whatever it is. When you are finding success in your goals, in your plans, that's when this person arrives in your life. Eleventh house. Third house, Chiron. Ninth house, so again it is that message that focus on your social networking circle and you will be finding your future spouse through that. There is also this feeling that your future spouse would like to say to you that this person is a wish coming true. Also, you have received third house and the ninth house. One is talking about long distance journey, another is talking about short distance journey. So I feel like for some of you, you will be finding your future spouse in your locality, in the same city, same hometown, same place. This person is near you, but for others, you will be finding this person when you are traveling abroad for higher education. And it seems like people who will be finding their future spouse in another country, they already know this. You already intuitively feel that you will be finding your future spouse in another country. Also, there's this feeling that many of you will be finding this person when you are exploring your spiritual journey or showing more interest towards your spiritual path. Because you have the Chiron, which is talking about healing power, empathy and ability to teach and learn remedies. That means... You will be focusing on becoming an empath or there's going to be increase in your empathy and you will be healing from any emotional wounds, traumas, past wounds during that time. Trust. So your future spouse want to say to you that there will be trust in this connection for sure, but also at the same time, you need to trust the journey with this person. You need to trust that you will be finding your future spouse. Strength. Your future spouse would like to tell you that you need to find strength during this time. Like for example, maybe you are lacking patience during this time or you are feeling like you are not meeting your desired partner at this moment. So your future spouse is saying that have strength, find that courage, have that confidence. Gratitude. Your future spouse is saying that be thankful for what is currently present in your life. Whether you are accomplishing something, whether you are achieving anything or whatever you have till now received in your life as a blessing. Appreciate it and you will be finding this person. 
seems like the more you are in the gratitude energy the more your vibration will be raised which will be helping you to find your future spouse be grateful be thankful for whatever it is present in your life at this moment that means you will be finding this person when you are focusing on the present and not living in the future nor living in the past that means your message is clear that you need to be conscious and aware of what is going on around you you need to be aware that any time my person can arrive in my life that's why i have to be open emotionally mentally physically spiritually to invite this person into my life i need to have an open mind and heart when it comes to finding this person that means if you remain emotionally closed off or if you are not actively looking out for a future spouse you may miss this opportunity but your future spouse is saying you won't be missing this opportunity that's why you have to be in the present you have to stay aware of the present what is going on around you what will be happening next okay awaken your empathy see again that empathy message is coming seems like this is something that you will be working on in the future or in the near future before this person arrives in your life also this is a message that your future spouse will have understanding towards your emotions this is someone who understands people's emotions so you never have to doubt if this person is understanding your thoughts your emotions your feelings or not this person will always understand that okay activate your healing power there's something about your healing journey or i should say there's something about you as a healer so many of you will be on the way towards becoming a healer or will be using some healing techniques to heal other people that's when you find this person that's why again that message is coming that compassion kindness empathy and healing so definitely for sure you will be exploring your spiritual journey you will be exploring or knowing more about your spiritual path your spiritual gifts and yes oh my god this can be your spiritual gifts as well like your empathy your healing power this can be your spiritual gifts and when you will be um figuring out or when you will be acknowledging your gifts means these gifts that's when you find this person connect to your deepest inner knowing okay your future spouse is saying that you will always be able to recognize your future spouse is just that you have to trust your intuition is just that you have to trust what you know what you know is right and rest other things are false so your future spouse is saying keep trusting what you know keep trusting your inner voice keep listening to your inner voice because that will be guiding you towards your future spouse that's why do not overthink about anything at this moment if something is not working out in your life let it go if something is not working with someone else let it go do not force it do not control it okay freedom live wild and free choose your freedom claim your independence see again again that message i've told you that there's something about your independence when you are independent when you are successful in life when you are not limited by any restrictions limitations that's when you find this person now choosing your freedom means it can be anything financial freedom freedom from past pains past wounds freedom from any limitations boundaries restrictions around you whatever this freedom and independence means to you that's when you find this person but also there's this another feeling is that if you are having a question that whether your future spouse will give you enough freedom and space in relationship your future spouse will be giving that because your future spouse is also someone who is an independent person someone who requires freedom and space in relationship this is also someone who is free and wild just like you so they will definitely give you this and you never have to worry about such things take a chance on them okay i feel like your future spouse is saying maybe in the past you had failed relationships but you have stopped believing in love unconditional pure true love you have stopped believing it your future spouse is saying that keep your hopes up and have expectations because if you give this person a chance then this person will show you what does true love 
unconditional pure love means so believe that true love exists okay work through your fears any fears that you have whether it's a fear of abandonment whether it's a fear of rejection whether it's a fear of breakup divorce whatever it is that you have work on it because your future is supposed to saying that this person won't ever give you any opportunity to have trust issues you won't ever have to doubt this person ever because this person won't ever give you that opportunity to doubt them so any fears that you have that you are bringing from your past relationships past connections past issues release it let it go and work on it the more you work on it more you will be healing a time to give rather than take okay your future spouse is someone who is a generous person so it's it feels like this person will give you as much as you give them this is going to be a balanced give and take kind of relationship you will be equally involved emotionally mentally spiritually physically with this person this person will be equally involved physically mentally spiritually emotionally as well with you so if in the past you have felt like relationship or connections are out of balanced you were giving more other people were taking more from you and they were giving less this is not that kind of a connection because you can trust this person and you can rely on this person but also your future spouse is saying that this can be the time period for you to focus more on your health whether it's mental health emotional health physical health and take good care of yourself okay truth okay your future spouse is saying do not deny any truth just like i've mentioned know what is right and wrong for you do not deny any truth that you know deep down envy if you are sometimes feeling like you are lacking passion motivation inspiration in life know the source of that what is currently missing in your life so you need to find something that inspires you that makes you passionate and makes your life interesting at this moment your future spouse wants you to make your life interesting they want to live every moment and not feel bored or dissatisfied with your life at all then we have manifestation your future spouse is saying if you are currently manifesting this person keep manifesting it but if you are not then your manifestation is going to be the result of this person that means this person exist and you are supposed to manifest this person through your manifestation this person will arrive in your life so vision the best possible outcome with this person vision the best possible relationship that you will have with this person vision the best possible traits or qualities that you are looking for in this person so think positive and release any negativity okay precious time this is someone who won't ever be wasting your time or energy if they are serious about you if they are having genuine authentic intention to get to know you they will be very clear cut about it and you will see them or you will notice them through their actions because they will be decisive and they won't be keeping you hanging up on them they won't be keeping you waiting for too long they will just be clear about their intentions right from the very beginning okay so that was all for pile number 1 thank you for watching if you like today's reading and if this reading resonated with you then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos in the near future all right so bye for now see you in my next video hi pile 2 welcome to your reading so first we have three of pentacles or three of prisons Ten of Candles or Ten of Wands. Knight of Candles or Knight of Wands. Page of Cups, Page of Potions. Okay, your future spouse is someone who is fun, playful, passionate, and exciting person. You never have to do anything alone in this connection. 
you never have to feel like passion is lacking in this connection you are losing that interest that spark that enthusiasm and everything from this person you never have to question about where this connection is heading towards neither you ever will be feeling like you are only carrying responsibilities duties and burdens in this connection because there is going to be team work here you will always be together in this connection definitely your future spouse may have more maturity or more experience in life than you but it doesn't make any much difference here because you both will be working together as a team you both will always be supporting each other's dreams goals and visions whatever you both will have you both will always motivating each other inspiring each other this is someone who is an action oriented person someone who is quite bold confident and sexy type this is someone who is going to be expressing their feelings thoughts and emotions so if in the past you have always dealt with people who were emotionally unavailable people who were cold people who were detached from their emotions this person isn't anything like that because this person is passionate this person is confident this person is bold this person is charming this person is sexy this person is attractive this person is emotionally expressive and this person is practical realistic as well you will always be working together in this connection capricorn 12th house second house saturn okay definitely in the past you had most challenging relationships but those challenges in relationships made you a wise person today made you understand your worth and values made you understand how you can improve your vision improve your life so that you can attract the best person a better person also you have the 12th house energy your message is that there's higher power involved here so if you haven't find your future spouse yet and you are questioning why you didn't find your future spouse yet there's divine timing involved there's higher power involved when it's the right time you will be finding this person till then keep working on your career goals keep working on your life keep working on yourself keep becoming a self sufficient person also there's another message coming is that when you will be finding this person you will be having increased amount of wealth which means now i'm not saying that you will become a billionaire or trillionaire or something like that it's just mean that maybe you will be going through financial issues because you have this saturn you will be facing challenges in your finances but after a period of time you will notice that your luck has changed you are earning more that's what this card is talking about you will start valuing things or it seems like you will be looking for quality not quantity so when there's an increased amount of wealth in your life that's when this person arrives in your life why because this is someone who is going to be financially secure stable person this person will be earning more and i feel like this person will be rich either moderately rich or rich person but this is someone who will be a provider to you someone who will give you security and stability but also someone who is mature person someone who is wise person as well now as you have this 12th house energy which means as you have this higher power involved here in this connection you need to increase your faith and the more you increase your faith faster your manifestation will work related to meeting this person also this person is someone who is quite hard working and once they give commitment they stick to it this is someone who will be quite serious about you and they take everything seriously whether it's finances home family relationship marriage they take everything seriously but your future spouse is saying that just like how you are a hard working person how you are currently focusing on improving your finances how you are currently materialistic and ambitious person this person is exactly like that so you both will be earning together and create a safe space safe environment in your home okay all tied up rest and rejuvenation hostilities your future spouse is saying that if you have anything like 
if you are feeling like this is not the time period for you to open yourself up emotionally you are feeling guarded and defensive anyone that is coming you are not letting that person in your future spouse is saying that this way you won't ever be able to recognize or figure out if that person is your future spouse or not that's why in order to let go of these two energies you need to rest more you need to find rejuvenation in your mind body and soul that's why rest rest and rest do not overwork do not overdo anything do not take any mental pressure at this moment do not feel anxious do not feel stressed out you do not have to take extra burden right now just take rest simple take rest if you are ever feeling like you are feeling burned out you are feeling fatigued you are feeling exhausted you are feeling tired just know that either your soul mind or body need rest those exhaustion is not coming from outside sources but you are feeling exhausted because you need peace that's why take rest wave together the crown you deserve your future spouse is saying appreciate yourself more be proud of yourself be proud of what you have achieved who you have become and what you are going to accomplish next be proud of yourself because this person is going to appreciate you for who you are whatever you have done whatever you have accomplished and if someone is complimenting you someone is appreciating you say thanks to that person so try to receive more appreciation from others let people appreciate you because you deserve it improve your vision exactly do not settle for anything less than you deserve keep visioning the best possible outcome keep visioning all those best qualities that you want to see in your future partner vision a happy married lifestyle after marriage vision a happy married life with your future spouse do not think of anything negative vision that your future spouse will love you unconditionally will be a provider a protector will be able to give you safe space will be able to give you comfort will be able to give you security and stability in relationships will be able to make you feel secure and safe in this connection vision every best possible outcome that you want to have with your future spouse dance move your body to music dance with the rhythm of life manifest your dreams through dance your future spouse is saying stop living life with fears enjoy every moment enjoy everything that you are currently doing whether it's your passion whether it's your hobbies whether it's your creative project whether it's your career goals whatever it is enjoy it live every moment do not keep thinking about what has happened in the past what you have lost what you could have done what will happen in the future just release it let it go allow yourself to have fun and enjoy and it seems like through this energy you will be inviting your future spouse into your life because your future spouse has a very light energy the people that you have attracted in the past they had heavier energies this person is light so fun so playful so be fun be active be playful enjoy life think positive and through this energy you will be attracting your future spouse into your life oh my god you have this security so this person is again saying that this person will be able to give you that security and stability that you deserve and expect from your life partner you never have to question this person's intentions towards you you never have to question this person's loyalty devotion and commitment towards you you will always feel secure you have freedom anything that is holding you back anything that is not letting you to be your true self release it let it go if your past is still bothering you if your past is still holding you back from moving forward in life let it go it may take some time but slowly and steadily release all these things that is not giving you the freedom that you deserve and you want diligence your future spouse is saying your future spouse will arrive in your life slowly yet steadily they won't be just rushing into your life you won't be meeting this person quickly it seems like before meeting this person before you find your future spouse you will be able to sense it means you will be able to sense that my person is coming that's how you feel that how this person means your future spouse is arriving in your life steadily and slowly 
you will definitely be able to sense it so you won't be getting the tower moment that oh my god my person has arrived and i'm not ready and prepared you won't ever be feeling this because you will always be preparing yourself you will always be prepared for this person to arrive in your life you will be fully prepared fully ready to welcome this person into your life but before this person arrives you will definitely like your intuition will tell you that this person is arriving in my life and i need to prepare myself to welcome this person that's why your future spouse is saying there's no hastiness there's no rush to be with each other they are coming and they will definitely enter your life so your future spouse is saying take a step by step approach when it comes to finding this person wait for winter it seems like you may find this person during winter times your manifestation related to this connection related to this person will manifest in winter times again you what you what do you need to release whatever do you, whatever you need to release release it whether it's guilt pain sadness old wounds past hearts emotional baggage let it go release it forever because this is the time period for you to do all these things because this person didn't arrive in your life yet that's why prepare yourself to be in the best version of yourself when this person arrives in your life or when this person enters your life similar message don't let your past hold you back you have the south node your past will always hold you back your past will always tell you that you will never find love but don't let it dictate your choices dictate your future because what has happened has happened and your choice is not to repeat those because you have learned from those experiences and you will never repeat all those things because you are more wise now and more matured now you have meditated and contemplated this is the time period for you to know more about yourself to focus on your needs because i feel like you are currently going through huge spiritual transformation changes and going through personal growth due to which connecting to your higher self focusing meditating contemplating doing soul searching is very important during this time for you spontaneity impermanence letting go see similar messages coming life is always changing be spontaneous be fun be wild be unpredictable you never have to be the same way that you have always been in the past if in the past you have attracted someone who was not emotionally available to you then it doesn't mean that you will again be attracting someone who will be emotionally unavailable to you so any grudges disappointments guilts sadness whatever it is just let it go because this can block you to be more open towards finding this person Okay so that was all for pile number 2 thank you for watching if you like today's reading and if this reading resonated with you then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos in the near future all right so bye for now see you in my next video Hi pile 3 welcome to your reading So first we have page of candles or page of wands King of needles or king of swords King of pentacles king of potions or king of cups okay your future spouse has these three qualities someone who is intellectual someone who is smart someone who is communicative someone who is wise someone who is objective yet someone who is grounded matured practical down to earth realistic person someone who is going to be financially secure and stable yet also someone who is emotionally matured and emotionally expressive as well this person is going to be compassionate will be understanding towards your needs will be a good listener someone who is an empath someone who is kind and considerate towards your needs someone who is going to be a loyal person as well but this is also someone who is fun playful having active lifestyle and someone who is always experiencing new things in life so this person is bringing everything in your life this person is not only going to bring financial security and stability in your life is not only going to 
provide that security and stability in your connection, in your relationship. But also this person is going to bring some playful moments in your connection as well as this person will be having open honest communication with you. This person is also going to make you feel emotionally stable and secure. You will have an intellectual compatibility with this person. You will have physical compatibility with this person. You will have emotional compatibility with this person as well as there is going to be spiritual connection as well. First house. Fourth house. Sagittarius. Aries. Your first impression will be your last impression when it comes to this person. Means you will be impressing this person on your first meeting or I should say you will spark that curiosity in this person's mind about you. Because something about you is different and something about you screams that you are a marriage material. This is someone who has so much experiences in life. This is someone who talks to so many people. But something about you is going to spark this person's curiosity in order to get to know you more. Both of your values will be similar and it seems like both of you either will be well connected to your home or both of you are well connected to your mother. Your future spouse may have strong Sagittarius or Aries sign with Sun, Moon or Rising in their birth chart. It seems like both of you will have a good impression on each other when you will meet each other for the first time. You will find this person powerful, authoritative, confident, enthusiastic, spontaneous and dynamic person. This person is highly optimistic and this person will bring good fortune in your life. There is going to be improve in your luck after you meet this person or after you find this person. Hope. Now currently at this moment you might be feeling like maybe this person doesn't exist. Maybe the whole package that I'm expecting from my life partner, this person doesn't exist. But your future spouse is saying that keep your hopes up and expect that this person exists because you have already got these three, these four cards which says that this person is going to be a whole package. Wisdom. Gateway. Your future spouse is saying that you know what's best for you. You know who's compatible with you. That's why choose your life partner wisely. Like if you are noticing that someone is going to give you stress, anxiety, do not choose that person. Wait for this person to arrive who won't be giving you any anxiety or stress. Who won't be bringing dramas into your life. That's why your future spouse is saying you know your worth and values. You know what's best for you, what's suitable for you. That's why rely on it. Also, this person is going to bring some new experiences into your life or is going to bring new emotions into your life which you have never felt before with someone else in the past. It seems like when it comes to finding this person, you have to trust the unknown, trust the journey that you are going to be in with this person. Then you have appreciation. This person is saying that you will be highly appreciated by this person. So you never have to become someone else in order to impress this person. That's why I've said in the beginning that your first impression will be the last impression. Also, your future spouse is saying that appreciate yourself more. Value yourself more. Do not do all those negative self-talk. Do not say that you are unworthy, you are unlovable, nothing is happening, you are dumb, etc, etc. Do not say all these things. Whoever you are, you are unique, different and perfect. Happy family. Your future spouse will be giving you an emotionally fulfilling, satisfying life. You will have children with this person. This person is very homely and this person will be caring about you a lot. Throat chakra. Okay, yes. Communication is always going to be clear and honest here. This person won't ever have any problem of expressing their feelings, thoughts and emotions. They will be speaking their mind. 
So they never will be giving you any mixed signals. You have the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael, which is the heart chakra. Your messages open your heart. If it needs more healing, take some time for healing your heart chakra, but open your heart. Okay. Another message is coming that the more you feel connected to your heart, more than your mind, easier it will be for you to connect to someone on a deep emotional level. Like if in the past or in the recent past, you have felt like you can't connect to someone on a deep emotional level. You are not finding any connection. You are not being able to open your heart. Then this is the time period for you to work on it. Because if you try to feel more and think less when it comes to making connection with your future spouse, it will be best for you. Because when you do, you will automatically be attracting someone who speaks from their heart. Someone who isn't emotionally closed off. Someone who will also be able to be vulnerable with you. Someone who doesn't think that expressing emotions, expressing thoughts, feelings is a weakness. You need someone like this. That's why open your heart. Okay, you have the door to romance. This is the most romantic person. Second thing is that your love life will again blossom when you will find this person. So if your love life, your romantic life was dull, boring, was filled with dissatisfaction, then this person is again bringing that romance back into your life. Balance spirituality and practicality. This is your soulmate. Okay. While you show strong discernment towards choosing your life partner, yet you need to understand the value of making connections, the value of spiritual connection as well as emotional connection with that person. So do not get overly materialistic, neither get too much spiritualistic. Keep these two sides balanced. Okay. So it is clear here that your future spouse is not only a materialistic person, but also someone who is spiritual as well. Then you have prosperity lies ahead. So, okay, so your future spouse is saying that more money is coming into your life. Not only this person is financially prosperous, but you will be financially prosperous as well. Nothing is yet set in stone. Okay, your future spouse is saying there's still room for changes. That's why you have that message that be conscious of whom you choose and let someone in into your life. Because you have the free will here. Okay, you have the free will to choose whom to let in into your life. So if you have any changes to make, whether it's your bringing changes in your personal growth, self-development or changing your mind about certain person, then there's still room for it. You can still make changes. So do not rush to give your commitment to anyone that you meet during this time. Get to know that person, simply talk to them. And if you feel like that person is not someone you are looking for, you do not feel anything here with this person, you can change your mind. And do not feel guilty of that. Do not feel like you have wasted this person's time. No, because it's just a dating period. You are just getting to know that person. Your relationship or connection with that person is not yet official or exclusive, right? That's why you do not have to feel guilty of it. Get to know that person, date that person. And if you feel like nothing is working or there's no connection here, simply let it go. Okay. Compassion. Be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. Okay, your future spouse is a compassionate person. This is the first message. This person is gentle, just like this king of cups. As well as this king of pentacles. But your future spouse is also saying that. Forgive anyone or anything who has done wrong to you. Because if your heart is still heavy, then it is going to be difficult for you to open your heart. And that's why this is also the main reason or this is also another reason why you are not being able to open your heart to anyone at this moment. Why you can't trust anyone at this moment. Why you are still feeling guarded at this moment. And appreciate yourself more. Show your light. 
if someone has given you cold shoulder someone has rejected you then just know that maybe you are not that person's type and do do not have to cry or moan for that rejection for that breakup so take rejections easily don't take it in a hard way that's what your future spouse is trying to tell you at this moment not every people out there has to like you not every people out there has to take you as their future spouse everyone has a choice everyone has a desire okay possibility raise your standards elevate your expectations you have unlimited potential if you are feeling like i won't ever meet someone who is a whole package then it's a wrong perception because this because this person exists and if you feel like maybe i'm running out of time i don't know for how long i will be waiting for this person that's why let's get married to someone who is of below standard do not do this do not settle for anything less than you deserve and have this expectation that this person exists you are looking for someone who is going to be whole package you deserve that and you will get that gentleness be kind to yourself and others honor your gentleness speak words of love this person won't ever be harsh on you this person won't ever be screaming at you this person won't ever be using any harsh words on you this person will always be gentle compassionate and kind towards you bitch fire stand up for yourself your future spouse is saying if someone isn't accepting your boundaries someone who is always pushing your limitations then stand up for yourself speak up and let them know that this is your boundary and that person should not cross that do it for you if you are currently focusing on healing focusing on personal growth self development focusing on your independence self sufficiency focusing on improving anything focusing on finding success or accomplishment into anything then do it for yourself no one has to take credit for this whatever you are currently doing you are doing it for yourself so be proud of that and appreciate all these things that you are achieving if you are healing then know that you are doing it for yourself you are healing because you want to feel good about yourself you want to improve your life you want to improve your lifestyle you want to improve your social circle you want to improve your friend circle you want to improve your connections that already exist in your life ground yourself if you are feeling like you are getting too much unrealistic or procrastinating or daydreaming or overly fantasizing about something then come back to earth ground yourself see things for what it is and not fantasizing or daydreaming or procrastinating about it then we have inhale a breath of life if you are currently at this moment finding that you are working too hard and not getting much time to rest and relax to enjoy life this is that moment for you take a break simply just take a break abundance ideal partnership nature so again that message is coming that you are supposed to attract abundance into your life whatever you will get whatever you will receive you will receive all those things in an abundant form whether it's love care affection finances it is going to be in an abundant form also it is saying here that with this nature the more you spend time outside higher the possibility is that you will be finding your future spouse seems like you won't be finding this person or meeting this person in a home environment or in a closed space chances are you will be finding this person outside of your home that's why try to spend more outside of your home lastly ideal partnership this is this person is going to be a true match you will have high compatibility with this person and this relationship is going to be easy and free flowing okay so that was all for pile number 3 thank you for watching if you liked today's reading and if this reading resonated with you then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos in the near future all right so bye for now see you in my next video